Okay, so today today we're going to look at the Azure Map Visual, which is in Power BI. So the Azure Map Visual gives you a set of visualization which you can use to improve your regular map features in Power BI. So this can actually help you get more context on your data, reference to the location of your businesses or location of your partners. So it gives you more context to your location data. So the first thing you do is activate Azure Map Visual. You go to File, go to Options and Settings, click on Options. When you click on options, you go to features, preview features. So preview features, you see the Azure Map Visual, you tick it and press OK. Once you have done this, you need to restart Power BI because you just need to restart Power BI. So when you restart Power BI, you see the visual right here and you click on it and it gets into your visualization pane. So I'm going to, going to increase the size to get a better view of the visual. So the first thing we need to do is to import data. I already have data in my Power BI. So the first, to get data, go to get data and pick a data source and connect Power BI to your data source. So once you have done that, if you don't have to do that, I'll put that in the link tutorial as well. So once you have done that, let's take a look at our data. So I click here and this is my data. So I have branch data, which shows me different branches in Nigeria with the latitude and longitude and the managers of these different branches. Go to sales data and it gives me different kind of pieces and the sales as well. So I'm come here right now. The so I just need the, the first thing to do is click on the visual and I need to provide or fill in all these parameters. So I need the latitude and longitude. So I'm just going to select latitude and give it on the latitude and select longitude and give it into longitude. So now it picks up the location. You can see we have a button, we have it should be equally. Uh, in KGA. So I'm just going to pick for my sales data. I'm just going to look at the quantity of these different sales in these regions. So I'll put that in my bubble size. So now it gives context to so you can see that this particular branch here shows like they have a lot more quantity in the reference to, compared to the other different locations. Okay, so once this is done, I click on but this is done, let's explore the visual. So, um, Azure Map Visual allows you to pick your views. Oh, so, you can either go with a road view, which shows like this, you can go with a satellite view, or even an hybrid. Oh, you can go with the gray map, the gray scale, click on night, or gray scale light, or terra. There's a lot more which you can explore as well. So I'm just going to go with the let's go with there for now. All right. So I click on the I can also zoom in to my report by using this. So I come here and can zoom in a lot more to this it. Or I can zoom out. But let's zoom in. Okay. So I can also check in the pitch. So the pitch kind of like flattens in my data. So I'm not like looking at it from a top view, but I can see it's more flat. This is what I mean. So I click on the pitch and I can look at it, it's a lot more flattened as well. I can also check the rotation and rotate my data. So you see, I can get a lot more rotation in my data as well. It does very much visual. So the first thing we need to do now, let's explore how to format this visual. So I click on the visual again, I click on the format your visual, okay, yeah. and I can go to layers. So first of all, let's explore the bubble layer. So the bubble layers, that's what I see here, the bubbles. I can change the colors of the bubble by picking a different color. Or, so let's come here and let's go with Okay, so now this is the color of our visual. I can also change the size of the bubble or increase the size of the bubble. So let's make this a little more bigger. Okay. Right. So beside the bubble layer, you also have, you can also switch the bubble with an heat map. So I'm just going to untick the bubble and select an heat map. Alright, so this is the heat map. The heat map has the same features as the bubble. I can change the color, I can increase the size, or even increase the intensity of the heat map as well. We also have the bar chart layer. The bar chart layer is actually one of the most interesting layers. So the bar chart layer account gives you this bar chart. The longer the bar chart, the more whatever parameter you're measuring is on that particular location. So let's flatten our data so you actually see what I mean. Okay, so now this is it, um, let's increase it. 
So let's flatten it a little bit more. And yeah, this is how it now looks. I can use this to even rotate some uh, get a better view of my data. Which is actually very, very interesting to look at. All right. So beside the bar shot view, you also have reference layer. So reference layer allows you to upload a GeoJSON file. So I can really find some GeoJSON file, but there's bar so if you take a look at this, this is a geolocation file which shows us different states in Nigeria and the local government. So I'm just going to minimize this. And I can click on the browser to add the file to my. And I've added the file into the, for the reference layer. So now if I take a look at this, I can get, let me switch from the budget layer to the bubble layer. So it's going to show us these different states and our local government as well. That's why you're increasing there. So, so yeah, you get a lot more. So if you have like a deal which shows you something a lot more interesting, you should actually make it easier of it. Okay. So the next thing we can do is let's explore the traffic layer so the traffic layer allows you to actually see the traffic levels in different part of your data set so i just have to select it and here you see it now so it gives me the traffic view so here i can see this which shows me like the number of clusters this shows me like main at work yeah and let's explore where we are so yeah, so see, it shows me like conditions. So let us explore Lagos because Lagos is known for its traffic. Um, so yeah, so you see it there, all of this. So that's majorly everything about the Azure map visual part. Yeah.